you go and fight in Ukraine, the rest of us will be worrying about New Zealand. Yep. <laughs> yep. So we're just talking about, sorry, I didn't quite catch the start of that recording. So just to bring you up to date, we don't need the internet to know what the trolls are up to today. We have some nufty pull up in a truck and start spieling, why aren't you at Ukraine fighting for freedom? <laughs> and I mean, that's one in a hundred. The rest of the guys are driving these trucks. They're all pretty good down here. You know, it's funny. They, 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 they did this little meme a little while ago and it was sort of related to Black Lives Matter, right? You know, Black Lives Matter, like lives matter. All life lives matter, matters. yeah. Um, <laughs> And they did a meme about a, uh, a house on fire and they, they made it out like the house that was on fire was um, the house of black people. And they said that um, people saying that all lives matter is like spraying water on the neighboring houses to prevent them from catching on fire and ignoring the black, the black person's house on fire. I thought, well, you could almost say that's incredibly racist. But also um, yeah. the firefighters actually do that. They, they, put, they put water on the other houses at the same time as they're trying to put out the, uh, the house that's on fire. Yeah, so where I'm getting with this is it, 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 it's, it's bloody hilarious. Uh, they want us to focus on other people's tuckies overseas, right? While our house is on fire here in relation to this issue, but go and put memes out that say the exact opposite in relation to Black Lives Matter. So guys, you know, if you're going to like fight for something, at least be consistent so everybody can uh, tr like comprehend what you're actually trying to do here. Yeah, absolutely. So this um, this this nufty that just drove off out in this uh, truck, I'm not going to name his company or anything like that. Yeah. Don't want to get him in trouble. Yeah, but like um, his final argument was, you're two years too late to save the refinery. And I turned around and looked at the refinery and I said, but it's still a refinery working. I can actually point out what, um, what doesn't need to be saved, just from information from um, operators. The, the stack over there on the left, that hasn't been used for ages, it's fucked, it's gone. So um, in, in terms of all the operations that are going on, I'm quite happy for channel infrastructure to remove things that are broken or pose a serious hazard because of they're, they're not in good work in order they haven't looked after it for ages. The stack on the right over there, that should definitely not be, be being taken down. Uh, I've got information coming through that they're actually wanting to take that one down before the one that hasn't been used in ages. The, the stuff in the middle was, as you can see, very, very good quality. Well, that stuff went in in 2014-ish, I believe. Yeah. One of New Zealand's largest concrete pours, 2,500 cubic uh, meters, I believe, of concrete was poured in 16 hours. It was a record. Mate, you're absolutely brilliant. See, this is this is why we need people who aren't just so focused on the jingoism to give details so people can be fully informed. I mean, the tanks on the on the left hand side, you can't see them here, but if you go all the way around to the beach, uh, some of those things need to be completely removed. So, if channel infrastructure was doing things in due diligence, they would be getting rid of the things that are uh, not in good order or, or, or dangerous first instead of trying to remove the refining capabilities in the quickest way possible. Yep. And, and another quick Blame fact, when they raised, um, raised the vote through ordinary shareholders who approved it, it was a $365 million upgrade for that, uh, I believe it's the hydro cracker in the center there. Yep. And it had a service life of 20 years, which means it still has 12 years of service. Anyway, that's facts for the morning. Yeah.